Hello Unlimited friends. Today I want to respond to a question that was asked on my YouTube channel in one of the comments. Azina asked, why are children born with physical limitations? Do they ask to be born that way? And I said to her, you know what? This is not a one-liner response. It's I, I want to get really deep into it. And so here it is. Hi, I'm Zer Mahoon from zmahoon.com and on this channel we talk about anything and everything that has to do with the law of attraction and using it to creating unlimited lives. So what happens in the womb? I know medical science is catching up to it, but I'm going to share with you what I've learned from Abraham and that is soul is breathed into the body upon birth so our connection to that which we call soul or non-physical is our breath and so while the child the baby is in the womb it does not actually house a soul it is in fact part of the mother's body and an extension of the mother's body. It is only upon birth that the baby becomes separate from the mother. So if the baby is an extension of the mother, then the baby is experiencing all the thoughts, feelings, and emotions of the mother in the same manner that any other organ of the mother's body is experiencing it. But a baby's body is tender and it is more open to absorbing the vibration of its surrounding. And so mothers who maybe it's not necessary that they are themselves thinking negative thoughts but if they are absorbing negativity from their environment maybe they live in a toxic environment maybe they're thinking about these problems that they have going on inside of them that stress can create um, uh, a discrepancy in the evolution of the embryo and that discrepancy because our bodies are chemical factories and stress of any sort at all will cause a chemical imbalance. Now, sometimes the body is able to compensate for that imbalance in other ways and sometimes the body cannot compensate for it. When the body is unable to compensate for that imbalance, the child appears to have developed some sort of a deficiency. Now, once that embryo has already embarked on that path where it is known that this baby is going to be born with some sort of um, a, a deficiency, either a mental or physical deficit, at that point in time, there are those non-physical entities who choose to be born in those bodies. It is a choice to be born in those bodies. So first of all, even before I go any further, I want to say that it is not the mother's fault and it is not the parent's fault. It is not the fault of the people who are surrounding the baby because they didn't actually want to create this situation. And it's just like someone creating cancer in their body. Are you going to tell that person who created cancer in the body that it was their fault? No, nobody deserves that and it's not anybody's fault. But nevertheless, it does happen and it happens because of the absorption of negative energy. So having said that, those non-physical entities, when it is known that this child is going to be born with deficits, these non-physical entities make the decision to be born in this body because they want to consciously experience the contrast of being in this situation. So nobody is 
given that task to live it out without their choosing. Whichever entity, non-physical persona um, embodies, gets into that body, um, has made the decision to do so because they want to experience that life. So um, I hope, Azina, that that answers your question. And I hope that that adds clarity. And then Abraham does teach us that it does not matter how a child is born, whether it's a mental deficit or a physical deficit, if the desire is there to recover from whatever deficit and there are no intervening beliefs or factors that block that desire, then the law of attraction can bring the solutions to that situation. Okay, so um, it doesn't matter what kind of a thing it is. People can still live to be happy and still live lives that are full. And in fact, I've seen people with mental and physical deficits living far fuller and beautiful lives compared to those people who call themselves physically fit. They are happier and they have had such a huge impact on the world around them. And I think that is absolutely amazing. See, it doesn't matter what you have. What matters is once you have what you have, what do you, how do you think about it? What do you feel about it? And how do you use it? Because you can use any circumstance in order to live a happy and fulfilled life. So Azina, I hope that that answers your wonderful question. And keep those questions coming, folks, because I love responding to them. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.